20 years ago, death rates among sickle cell pregnant women and their babies were minimal due to an existing sickle cell antenatal clinic. People traveled from neighboring countries to seek the special care. The women were thought appropriate ways by which to keep themselves healthy. The service collapsed as number of doctors and nurses reduced and lack of money to keep the service running. Now the antenatal sickle cell clinic has started at the maternity block of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. The decision to reopen the clinic was due to the fact that mortality rates among these women were high and this is a way of reducing it. Dr. Samuel Linchi Jansson is one of the specialists. Sickle cell patients are generally weak. They tend to have anemia very often, but they are almost always anemic. And then most importantly, they develop complications associated with the sickle cell disease more often during the pregnancy. And by that we are referring to bone pain, chest pain. We are referring to rapid breakdown of their blood cells. All these are criti critical conditions in the sickle cell patient, which often are made worse in the presence of pregnancy. The clinic opens once a week on Wednesdays for sickle cell pregnant women. This life is very important, not only to herself and her unborn baby, but to the general society. So if we know that a mother or a potential mother is at a significant risk of perishing, the condition that she finds herself in, a helping hand from out there will be very much great, will be very much welcome.